Bridgestone Golf has a new reactive cover. We're going to explain the differences between all the Tour B golf balls today that Bridgestone has to offer. Hey golfers, I'm Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Now golf ball fitting is very important. There are some quite big differences in spin and ball speed depending on the golf ball that you play. Bridgestone Golf does a great job to recommend the type of golf ball you play based on your driver speed, especially with the Bridgestone Tour B golf line. There is four different Tour B golf balls available. We have the Tor B X, Tor B XS, Tor B RX, and Tor B RXS. These golf balls all have a difference in feel, but also fit a particular player based on their club speed. Bridgestone would recommend the Tor B X and the Tor B XS for those golfers that have swing speed faster than 105 miles an hour with their driver. The Tor B RXS and the Tor B RX, those are golf balls that will fit players that swing under 105 miles an hour. And we are going to test the differences today when I do exactly that. I'm going to hit shots with the RX and the RXS with driver speed under 105 miles an hour. And I'm also going to hit some shots with the Tor B and Tor B XS with driver speed over 105 miles an hour because those are the speeds that particularly would fit into those type of golf balls. I actually just got done hitting some wedge shots with these golf balls. And we're gonna explain the differences in the feel and the spin rate right away with a 58 degree wedge in my hand. Then we're gonna hit some drivers to explain the differences. Make sure to come on into second swing to work with a club fitter to figure out which golf ball you should be playing. Let's take a look at the data. To start off this test, I hit some shots with my 58 degree wedge right around about 100 yards. So you notice the carry distance was basically 100 yards when I was hitting these shots. My club speed was basically identical. We were trying to swing at about 75 miles an hour as I was testing the 58 degree wedge. First, I want to talk on feel. So there is quite a difference in feel between these particular golf balls, especially between the golf balls that are X's or XS's. So the RXS and the Tor B XS, both those golf balls actually had a much softer feel off the club face. The RX and the Tor B X golf ball actually had a very, very firm feel off the club face there too. So I'm really interested to see what happens if we take a look at the numbers, knowing that there's differences in the feel between these wedges. So let's talk numbers. First thing, notice club speed right around about 75 miles an hour with each particular golf ball. So, ball speed. Which golf ball did generate the highest ball speed? Well, we noticed the RXS from 100 yards did generate a little bit more ball speed. It's kind of interesting how the X actually had the lowest amount of golf speed and the RX had the, low, the second lowest amount of speed. So the X's actually had a little bit less ball speed not saying ball speed is important with your wedges because you're trying to dial in a number, but it's kind of interesting if you take a look at those numbers. Uh, if we look at spin, this is where it's going to be at with, with these golf balls. First thing I want to talk about is the golf ball that actually had the highest amount of spin. We'll notice the Tor BX. So actually that was a very, very firm feeling golf ball, but it actually did spin quite significantly more. So we'll notice 98.54 was the average spin rate. We take a look here at the second highest spin. It was actually the Tor B RX at 92.31. Uh, we notice the XS was right about 90.55, and the RXS actually had spin rate at 86.90. So we had about a 1,200 RPM spin difference between these four golf balls. One thing that stands out to me here with the spin rate is with the Tor BX you will notice that actually had the slowest club speed of the mall at 75.0, but it had the fastest spin rate. Generally speaking, the faster you swing the golf club, 
the more spin you're going to generate. So that actually wasn't the case. So we can validate and say that Tor BX golf ball does spin the most for your wedge shots. Uh, at the other end of the spectrum, you will notice the RXS will notice actually had the fastest club speed, but actually had the slowest amount of spin. So we can also validate that the Tor B RXS actually has the lowest amount of spin rate when we're hitting 100 yard wedge shots. That's with the wedges. Wedges, it's very important to talk about feel. So as I mentioned, the Tor B X felt a little firmer, but it did spin a lot more, while the XS and the RXS actually felt softer, but didn't quite spin as much. So kind of interesting data there to talk about. Now I'm interested in driver. So um, as I mentioned, these golf balls all fit into players based on their swing speed. Over 105 miles an hour and under 105 miles an hour. I'm going to hit some shots doing both, and we're going to take a look at the numbers. So keep in mind with the driver testing, a lot of this is definitely going to be player dependent. Keep in mind it's a small sample size as well. But let's take a look at the numbers, see if anything kind of tells us uh, anything with regards to numbers. So you'll notice club speed, ball speed, pretty much the same uh, when it comes to these two golf balls. They're almost kind of doing the same thing. Uh, you'll notice the spin rate was just a little bit lower with the RXS and the launch angle was a little bit higher. So naturally the ball is going to carry and roll out just a little bit further. But we're talking height plus or minus two, two feet in the air. Really not a major difference to talk about with regards to distance. Typically you would see the RXS to be a little bit softer. Maybe go just a little bit shorter than the RX. But in this case you'll notice actually I hit the RXS just a little bit better. The RX is a little bit firmer feeling, that's, that's for sure and it's definitely designed for maximum distance. Even still though, we're swinging at 100 miles an hour, I'm still hitting it 275 yards, which is very, very impressive for a 100 mile an hour golf swing. So both golf balls were excellent. I would just say the RXS feels a little bit softer. The RX feels a little bit firmer. With more testing, we may, may see general more trends there. But keep in mind, it's always going to be kind of player dependent. We've noticed these golf balls are doing pretty similar things at 100 miles an hour of club speed. So now it's time to hit some bombs. The Tor B and the Tor B XS are golf balls that are played by a tour professional that swing over 105 miles an hour. So I'm going to go after it and try and hit some bombs and see if there's any differences between these golf balls. Keep in mind, this is definitely going to be player dependent on feel. Thinking of that, Tiger Woods, he plays the Tor B XS golf ball, while Bryson DeChambeau and Lexi Thompson, they play the Tor B X golf ball. So a lot of it's to do with feel and spin what they need out of their golf game. Let's test it and see which one performs better of driver. I feel like this ball is leaving some stuff on the table. That ball speed just doesn't seem to match up. That was different. That ball speed number. That one definitely felt like it was a little more remiss hit. Not as my speed was down, but still performed pretty well. One thing we certainly found out is the Tor BX definitely is a faster golf ball and it's going to go a little bit further. You can notice when I was hitting the Tor BX, notice my average ball speed was 167.6, 165.9 with the XS. The thing that stands out to me the most here though is the XS, the fastest ball speed I got was 166.9. 
if we look here, we only had one shot that was actually under that with the Tour B X at 164.6. That one clearly was a miss hit. But that shot there, that was shot 48, is kind of important to talk about because notice how that spin rate still kind of stayed down. Still went 312 yards, even with less ball speed. If we look at the XS, the furthest drive I hit was only 313 yards. So even that miss hit with the X actually went just as far as my best shot with the XS. So that was kind of interesting that it note. So about a mile and a half, two miles an hour faster ball speed with the X versus the XS. Now you'll notice my club speed ever so slightly faster. We're talking 0.4 but that's why we have Smash Factor. So Smash Factor is a great way to test that efficiency rating. We'll notice ranging from 147 to 149 with the X. We'll notice 145, 145, a couple there with the XS. So a little bit smaller there with the efficiency with the XS versus the X. Uh, if we, you know, when I was driving today, I was testing with a nine degree driver. I was launching the ball around about 16, 16 and a half degrees. And the spin rate was around about 2,200 RPMs. We're talking about 40 RPMs lower with the X. But I want to talk about the last three shots that I hit with the X. Notice 1950, 2050, and then that last shot at 1904. A little bit lower there on the best spin rates. If we look at the XS, we'll notice here the lowest spin rate was 2010, 2154, and 2200. So on those shots that I hit maybe a little more solid, the spin rate was also a little bit lower with the Tor B X as well. You'll notice when I was hitting it, it was going about five yards further with carry distance and about four yards further with total distance. Uh, it was actually flying a little bit higher as well with the X versus the XS. Now, keep in mind this is always going to be kind of different, but typically you will see the Tor B X is going to be a little firmer golf ball and it's going to provide more distance with your driver. One thing that actually interests me too with this one is the Tor BX, I also generated more spin with the wedges as well. So knowing my golf game, what I'm after is more spin with my wedges. I'm also looking for more ball speed with the driver. I absolutely would play the Tor BX golf ball over the XS because we'll notice more spin around the wedges with the wedges and then also a lot more ball speed with the driver. Tiger Woods, he plays the Tor B XS. Now he wants that softer feeling golf ball and he's played that golf ball for a long, long time. Let's face it, he already generates a lot of spin, also hits the ball very, very far as it is. And he's just looking for something for exceptionally good feel around the green. You know, I could notice a difference. The X for sure felt a little bit firmer. The XS, you know, definitely felt softer. But the X for sure is not like a rock. It's still got some good feedback off the club face versus the XS. So there you have it. Explained the differences between the Tor B golf balls in 2021. There is a difference in feel. Typically the RX and the X golf balls will firm, feel firmer. The XS and the RXS golf balls will feel softer off the face. We noticed that the Tor B X spun the most with the wedges and also generated a little bit more ball speed for my swing tendency. So it's important to come on into second swing to get fit for not only for your driver, not only for your irons and wedges, but also for, also for golf ball as well. Golf ball fittings are real. There's a huge difference as we explain the differences in wedge spin here today. There are golf balls out there that are definitely faster, spin more, and there's golf balls out there that are slower as well. So come on in second swing and get fit like a pro.